called that because we're having conversations about cars in cars. Or C C C C C C C for short. <laughs> in episode four of C C C C C C C, we are going to be discussing the new 458 Special Aperta. Tesla wants you to check out its D and a potential new Ford GT successor. Ferrari has just released the 458 Special Aperta at the Paris Motor Show. It is the convertible version of the 458 Special, same 4.5 liter V8, 597 horsepower at a screaming 9,000 RPM and 398 pounds-feet of torque. It'll do zero to 60 in three seconds flat and then lap the Ferrari test track in one and a half seconds faster than a normal 458. Limited to 499 units, it's cool. Pretty exciting, it's obviously wicked fast. I've been in a stock 458 and it was stupid fast. This is up a level. I personally find the normal 458 to be more beautiful. Okay. I disagree. I think the Special, the, 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 that edition is a lot more aggressive. I think it looks way cooler and you get way more performance. It reminds me of the SLS Black Series versus the normal SLS. Uh, if I were to have one, I think it depends on how many other cars I have. If mm -hmm. I was going to daily drive a car, it would be the normal SLS. But mm -hmm. Black Series, you respect it just like the Special. Yeah. It's more hardcore. It's mm -hmm. definitely more aggressive. You can't deny that. It's the most powerful and aerodynamic convertible ever made by Ferrari. And it likely will be the last naturally aspirated V8 in Ferrari's lineup. Next generation will be using turbocharged engines. We'll see how that goes. Indeed. So Elon Musk is telling us to check out the D. Tesla is releasing a four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive Model S. Yes. He made a tweet and that generated a lot of media attention. They released this picture of what looked like the Model S with a garage door that said D on it and uh, a few pictures of a black Model S, a P85 D, had a D on the name. So people were wondering if it might be like a further extended range model, maybe more features, but it looks like it's gonna be the all wheel drive system that people have been waiting for. Yeah, D potentially stands for dual motors. Uh, pretty exciting. There's a lot of Teslas, obviously, in the Bay Area, Northern California. Mm -hmm. However, in snowier areas, it's uh, a rear-wheel drive car is not as convenient. Yes. So hopefully it brings more sale sales to Tesla because I really do like the company and think they're doing a great job with the electric car. Yeah. It's also very likely that that powertrain, the four-wheel drive system, will be introduced in the Model X, the, uh, the crossover SUV they're going to supposedly bring out soon, but apparently has been delayed. It has rumors our second quarter of 2015. Yeah. It's going to start production. Looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully a uh, three series competitor yes. after that would be pretty cool. That would totally kill the market. Absolutely. So we come to the potential new Ford GT successor. I'm extremely excited about that. If you haven't seen our review on the Heritage Edition Ford GT, you should check it out. But it was the most exciting car that I've ever driven. The noise, it's just incredible. And when it came out, it was faster than the current generation Gallardo mm -hmm. and Ferrari 430. So this new generation could be absolutely yep. nuts performance wise. It's going to honor the 50th anniversary of their Le Mans victory with yes. the GT40. So good timing there. Yeah, probably either gonna have hopefully a V8, but there are rumors that it might have the Ford 3.5 EcoBoost V6 because that engine can probably support way over 600 horsepower. And either way, it'll be a really good thing for Ford. We have seen high performance cars with six cylinder engines. The GTR comes to mind. Yep. Porsche. It does seem, of course, that it should have a V8. the V8. A big American V8. What I'm curious about is if they style it uh, after the original GT40 or the new GT. You know, it definitely should harken back to that era, mm -hmm. but without making the same car three times. Yeah, that is know? a good point. So I think they need to evolve somehow. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see mm -hmm. what it looks like, but yep. pretty exciting. That'll be cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed our fourth episode of CCCCCCC. If you have any cars you'd like to see us review or videos you'd like to see us make, leave a comment below on our channel, and we'll try to get on that as soon as possible. And like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Go ahead and like us on Facebook, and we look forward to seeing you next video.